Hey, welcome back. So I have a new toy and my new toy is a tripod with a ring light. So hopefully the lighting in my videos in future will be a lot better. I'm still trying to work out how to work the tripod, but um, yeah, it's all good. So recently, as you may or may not have realized, I had a birthday. I tend to have one about once a year, which seems like a good rate for birthdays for me. And on that the previous birthday i decided it would be fun to make a bookmark of all the books i'd read while i was 45. so here is my bookmark which i finally finished of all the books that i've read in 45. when i say i finally finished it obviously i haven't finished it it needs ironing it needs backing it needs washing it needs actually turning into a bookmark so I haven't quite decided whether I'm going to like frame it in card or whether I'm going to back it with either or a different, probably I'll go for a different fabric, but I'm going to interface the back um, so it's a bit stiff and then do some kind of finishing. And if you have any ideas, I would love to hear them. So anyway, this is all the books I read between my 45th birthday and my 46th birthday, all the books I finished while I was 45. There are 178 of them, which I, 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 I can't even, I don't know why, um, but there you go. Uh, so full disclosure, all those purple books are uh, children's books. And my husband was like, well, that's why, because you've read all these children's books. Actually, on average, it takes me three days to read a book. And the children's books, some of them are longer, some of them are slower, on average, the same amount of time as any other book. Uh, I think it's just about how fast paced the writing is really for me or how gripping it is. Audiobooks I read super slowly because I'm meant to listen to 15 minutes of audio a day according to my audiologist but I don't always manage it because audiobooks are hard. But anyway I read mostly on ebook, some on physical, a couple on audio. And I'm just going to take you through the genres. So you might notice there's a lot of this kind of teal colour. I had initially two separate shades of turquoise, which were meant to be fantasy and urban fantasy. I couldn't tell the difference, so I just gave up somewhere around here. Um, there's 12 shells, which you might think, oh, that's a shell for every month. But actually, some months, like the first August, I read more and some months less. So, you know, it all works out. Uh, there's quite a lot of science fiction spread through the year, which I like. I'm always worried, feeling like I'd like to read more science fiction, so it's nice to see that I actually am reading some. <laughs> Tiny smattering of horror. Um, not very much. There's this whole slew of romance here, this pink romance, which was because I decided I was going to do a Hanukkah romance video. And uh, yeah, <laughs> so I read more romance than I'd ever written in my life, probably. But as you can see, I've kind of gone, actually, maybe I do like romance. And I've kept it up to a certain extent. Uh, what else have we got here? Yellow, historical fiction. When I was a teenager, I read a lot of historical fiction. And I'm just finding that unless it's historical fantasy, I'm less drawn to that. Surprisingly little. Well, I was surprised by how little of this is non-fiction. That's this colour. Um... I often enjoy non-fiction, so I'd probably quite like to read more non-fiction. I should be picking up more non-fiction, I think. Oh, what else can I see? Oh, I gave up on the category of thriller because I got to, like, December um, and before I read my first thriller. And I was like, you know what? Most things can either be, like, a sci-fi thriller or a crime thriller, so I'll just put them sci-fi or crime. I don't know whether that was a good or bad decision. Uh, this colour is graphic novels, which again, I'm, I'm never quite sure where to start because I find graphic novels sometimes quite difficult to understand what's going on in them. So I find that while they can be quite a quick read, I'm sure I'm not getting out as much out of them as is there to be got out. Uh, so I'm quite pleased that there's this many and yeah, maybe I should keep persevering because I always enjoy them I just often get the feeling I don't quite don't quite understand so in terms of uh seasonality of genres as well 
Um, I always think of myself as someone who binge reads a genre and apparently that's just not true. So we've got, apart from this romance in uh, November, which was for my Hanukkah romances, and then we've got a crime wave in December, which is kind of cool, I suppose. And then we've got the two horrors coming into January, but then I'm straight back into like the fantasy and sci-fi. This is contemporary. Um, yeah, and then I'm straight back into, oh, there was a patch around here where I was reading uh, fantasy and sci-fi in order to vape for Hugo's, uh, which is nice. Um, I think one of these contemporary was something, oh, I can't remember, maybe it was Starling House, which wasn't actually a Hugo nominee. Uh, so I also realised that I didn't have any category for classics, but actually, where I did read a classic, like I read, oh no, I'm trying to struggle to think what I did read. The Haunting of Hill House. I read The Haunting of Hill House and I was just like, sure, it's classic, but can also get horror. So, or if I read a classic that was set when it was written, then I'd just put it as contemporary and so on and so forth. So actually for that, there's not a lot. And uh, uh, yeah, I mean, I think that's quite a good variety of books. What, what genre haven't I talked about? I've talked about romance, talked about graphic novels. This is a split historical fantasy i do wonder whether I, instead of having a separate category for um fantasy i should just have a separate category for historical fantasy uh children's fantasy contemporary crime non-fiction sci-fi i've got quite a long way before reading any sci-fi romance but then the sci-fi picked up through the winter and then hasn't really gone away which is again it's really nice um yeah, I think that's everything I've talked about. It's obviously got a bit messy towards the end. It's nice and neat saying at the beginning. But this last shelf, I wasn't sure how many books to put in it until I got to my birthday. And then I knew that I'd read exactly like 15 books between this book and my birthday. So then these last few books were just like, I just got to get it finished. Um, and I was thinking of doing another one for this year, which I mean... It's almost September, so I'm almost a month behind in it already. Um, but I'm still thinking about it, so I guess we'll see. Also, I did pick out colours for if I wanted to do another bookmark. So this time I thought instead of doing it by genre, I'd do it by star reviews because I've been trying to do more of that. So the colours are one star, two star, three star, four star, five star, and this one for if I really haven't got a clue. Um, it's actually looking pale blue on my camera, but it's actually like a sage green. I kind of mind that I had a pale blue picked out for it, or maybe like a maroon, but I can't find it with my others. So these colours are subject to change. Um, and again, this one is like peachy. Maybe I should switch out. Then, yeah, anyway, these colours are subject to change, but I have been thinking about what colours, so maybe that implies that I should just go ahead and do it, but I've got other stuff I need to be doing with my hands, but it's not a lot of, apart from the, like, getting it done, like, the frame done and stuff, it's not actually a lot of work, keeping up with bookmarks, so, I just don't know. Um, 45 felt like a round number in a way that 46 doesn't, because, you know, it divides by five, but... It's quite, it's quite a nice size for a bookmark. That's the other thing. I was worried it was going to come out massively too big because the design was meant to be like 100 books and I've got 178. So, But then I also made it wider than it was meant to be by mistake. So it was meant to be like that big. So no, I think it's all right. And I think I've got the hang of the setup and I will see you soon.